Hello Internet, here's a quick tip. You can use the name of operator to convert a class or a function or a property into a string field. Um, this is useful, if, for example, in .NET MAUI or WPF, where you need to do a property notification um, event that is going to be tied by a string name to a specific property that is updating. By doing name of, you can actually tie it directly to that reference. Um, and so you'll get syntax errors if or compilation errors if your um, fields don't match up, if the name changes or refactoring has happened that didn't catch both fields. Um, so, for example, if we just run this with uh, .NET run, we'll convert our class variable property and function in this example all into what their name is. So it's just converting that directly into a string. The useful thing for this, though, is it, maybe I go and change this foo into a bar. This is now a compilation error, where if we were just using directly strings, this would still be fine. Our code would compile, just something in the code would break because that reference wouldn't work anymore. By using name of, you can ensure that there's a there's a strong relationship between both of those things, so you don't run into those, those weird errors later on. Um, so hopefully this is useful and you can use it in your projects. Um, if you do, let me know. Um, if you have other ways you're using name of, uh, let me know in, in the comments as well. Other than that, I will see you in the next video. So until then, See internet.